The Sinovac vaccine is finally here, and this is the second type of vaccine to come to Malaysia after Pfizer. So some of you may have questioned, is it safe? Is it approved? How is it different from Pfizer? Well, that's why I'm here. This is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com, and here's everything you need to know about the Sinovac vaccine. The Sinovac vaccines have arrived in bulk from Beijing on Sunday. Uh, the, for the first batch, we're getting 200 litres, which is good enough to produce 315,000 doses. Unlike the Pfizer vaccine, which is based on mRNA, the Sinovac vaccines are using an inactivated virus, which is the traditional way of making most vaccines in the world. Typically, they are more costlier to make, and to bring the cost down, Malaysia is going to order it in bulk, and it will undergo a fill and finish process by Pharma Niaga. Another key difference is that the Sinovac vaccines can be stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. So there's no need for those crazy, uh, sophisticated ultra-low temperature fridge that's required for Pfizer. In terms of efficacy, the Sinovac vaccine is rated to be between 51 to 91%. But take note that efficacy is not the same as effectiveness. Because efficacy is depends on how the clinical trial is being set up. So it's very different from one brand to another brand. And the minimum efficacy level required by the WHO is 50%. If you do the math, 50% is still better than zero. Has the Sinovac vaccine been approved? Well, at the time of recording, the answer is no. Pfizer is the only vaccine that has received the conditional approval by the National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency, or better known as the NPRA. Before it can be used here, the Sinovac vaccines require two types of approval. The first approval is for the vaccine themselves, and the second approval is for the fill and finish process by Pharma Niaga. Since it's going to be finished here, we need to make sure that it's safe from end to end. So what happens if it's not approved? Under the agreement, Malaysia will not pay for the Sinovac vaccine if it fails to get the approval from the NPRA. And as a result, it won't be used in Malaysia. And we're not the only country to do so. Singapore has done the same thing. They received their Sinovac vaccines without having the approval from their local authority. So who is this NPRA? So NPRA is an independent regulatory body to ensure the safety and efficacy of the vaccines. Well, you know, there are two groups of people that I've heard of. Uh, one group of people are saying that, you know, it's been used in countries like Indonesia, Thailand, and Turkey. So why we need to have another round of approval? On the other hand, we have another group of people that are saying that, can it be trusted? I don't trust these foreign people. So that's why the NPRA is for. They are here to make sure that it's safe to be used in Malaysia. And they have high standards to ensure the quality and safety of the vaccines. And because of that, the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Khairi Jamaluddin, has said that he will not be taking the Pfizer vaccine like his other cabinet ministers. Saya akan ambil vaksin yang akan diluluskan seterusnya. Apa saja vaksin yang diluluskan seterusnya, saya orang pertama ambil. Kalau Sinovac, Sinovac. Instead, he will take the next approved vaccine by the NPRA. And he's doing it because he trusts the NPRA is independent and they're going to ensure that the vaccines are safe to be used in Malaysia. Is the Sinovac vaccine halal? Well, it's deemed halal by the Indonesian authorities. And President Jokowi was the first person to receive the Sinovac jab in Indonesia back in January. Once the fill and finish process is approved by the NPRA, the Pharma Niaga facility in Puchong is expected to be the first halal vaccine plant in the world. Can you choose which vaccine to get, whether it's Pfizer or Sinovac? Well, the answer is no. And this is also practiced in other countries that has a portfolio of vaccine. It will be a logistical nightmare if you get to choose which vaccine to take. So how do you register for the vaccination program? At the moment, the easiest way is to use MySajatra. So the app's available on Apple App Store, Google Play Store, and also Huawei App Gallery. So for those who don't have a phone or internet access, the government's opening up for online registration on the website and also a hotline number, which will be available on the 5th of March, 2021. That's all for now. If any questions, please drop them down below and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible due to the rapid developments and also depends on when you're watching this video, some of this information might be out of date. So for the latest information, visit vaccinecovid.gov.my. This website right here. That's all. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.